raise those hands right now. Begin to sing it out. Sing it by faith. Sing it in advance. Let you know He loves you. He's on your side. That He has accomplished that victory. He has accomplished that breakthrough in Jesus' mighty name. We've come to a time right now where we're going to prepare our hearts for prayer. We're going to prepare our hearts for that warfare. I'm going to read to you one verse. First Samuel chapter 17. And it says the following. Therefore David ran and stood over the Philistine, took his sword and drew it out of his sheath and killed him and cut off his head with it and when the Philistines saw that their champion was dead they fled now the men of Israel and Judah arose and shouted and pursued the Philistines at the entrance of the valley to the gates of Ekron we all know the story where Philistines were proud and good because they had a champion and David came in and he slew that champion and when that champion fell their courage fell and Philistines instead of creating a war they were in panic and Israel rise, rose up and went against the Philistines and they conquered that day. 2,000 years ago Jesus Christ the son of David he conquered a Goliath on the hill of Golgotha. He removed his authority, he disarmed him and he crushed him under his foot. And all the demons today are in panic when you know that. And today that freedom, that victory that Jesus accomplished is yours and mine. And today those Philistines which still remain many times in our life, they are going to flee because we are going to pursue what belongs to us. We're going to take back everything Satan has stolen. We're going to occupy what God has promised. We will possess the gates of our enemies we will possess our possession and we will walk in freedom we will walk in victory and we will walk in everything God has given to us somebody say amen somebody say amen curses are real curses they attack people they attack young people they attack old people they attack famous people and they attack people who are not maybe known they attack all kinds of people but there is only one thing that can stop the curse and that is Jesus Christ on the cross he already accomplished a victory and today what we are praying for we're not trying to get God to give us something we are only cashing the check of what's already been ours in Jesus Christ can somebody say amen hallelujah deliverance is your bread and God offers it to you today deliverance from the voices that are intrusive deliverance from the demonic oppression it is God's gift to you and that is a bread and I want you to receive that today in Jesus name I want you to say I know who I am I'm a child of God say I know what belongs to me and that is freedom that is deliverance that is healing and breakthrough and right now I receive what Jesus did on the cross he finished that victory for me my deliverance is my right it's my bread in Jesus name I'm more than a conqueror I am a new person I have a great future my past is over the devil has been defeated the sickness has been defeated in Jesus name say and right now I come against every Philistine every evil spirit every curse that is launched against me I come against it in Jesus name I bring it down I break its grip over my life in the name of Jesus I command every curse going in my family to be broken right now in the name of Jesus every demon that followed you here is gonna have to lose its grip right now your demon knew where he was coming maybe you didn't but we don't play around here we go straight to work spiritual warfare is real this is not a drill this is a war and spirits evil spirits they're nervous don't be nervous for them let them be nervous because their time to leave is now it's the Philistines job to flee 
it is your job to pursue you need to walk out of this place and be free from that nightmare today you need to be walking out of this place and not picking up that cigarette again or that gambling addiction again or that issue again why because those spirits that chase you here have to be cut off from your life today in this room in Jesus name so I ask you that you pray with us let's pray together you can stand and watch good thing to do or you can stand and be engaged that's the best thing to do maybe you're coming here today you say my life is perfect you're lying to yourself number one but number two help other people stand in the gap for somebody else right now you don't have to scream and yell but I want you to speak I want you to speak to your mountain I want you to speak to the forces of darkness to lose their grip in Jesus mighty name I want you to say this with me say by the blood of Jesus and the fire of the Holy Ghost every evil spirit that has followed me here I commend it to come out in Jesus name say every unclean spirit that followed me here I command you to come out to come out I command you out 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 lose your grip I break your grip come on right now command them out let's open up your lips command any spirit that came along with you right now just begin to disconnect yourself begin to command it out right now in the name of Jesus Christ right now has come a time to disconnect yourself from anything that is behind that repeated sin there's some people in this room today you have a repeated addiction that you keep falling into and behind that is an evil spirit the Bible says he who does sin is a slave of sin and the only one freedom exists is in Jesus Christ that for that addiction can be to gambling that addiction can be to drugs to cigarettes it could be addiction to pornography it could be addiction to lying it could be addiction to stealing exaggerating whatever it is you must be disconnected today in Jesus mighty name this memorial weekend is gonna be a weekend to remember in Jesus mighty name come on somebody I want you to say this prayer point with me say any chain that Satan might have used to connect himself to me I disconnect right now in the mighty name of Jesus say so every chain that Satan might have used to connect me to himself be broken be broken be disconnected be uprooted from my life in Jesus name come on open up your lips begin to name that chain if it's gambling if it's addiction to cigarettes if it's addiction to drugs if it's generational curse of cancer if it's diabetes if it's disorder if it's some kind of a cheating and lying if it's the chain of divorce begin to break it right now begin to with your words there is power in your mouth begin to speak with authority and say I disconnect it right now in Jesus name I break its grip right now in Jesus mighty name Spirit we ask you for your presence to right now bring healing and restoration in the physical body in Jesus mighty name in the name of Jesus Christ just close your eyes for just a moment the presence of the Holy Spirit that brings healing has just entered this room and God wants to heal you God wants to restore you God wants to bring healing to your body right now in Jesus name somebody's right shoulder there's this there was this injury there and God is touching you right now I'm sorry somebody's left knee but there was a pain because of arthritis we just cursed that arthritis right now in the name of Jesus Christ whatever you had pain in your lower back whatever you had pain ear infections or you had problem with your spine or weakness in your body right now just receive the touch of the Holy Spirit in Jesus name in the name of Jesus just ask just whisper say Holy Spirit touch me Holy Spirit rewrite my DNA strengthen my bones clean out my blood clean out my skin heal my bones Holy Spirit restore refill the chemicals that are missing in my brain heal my vision Holy Spirit just welcome his presence right now it's it's here right now the Lord is moving in this room
evidence is all around. Where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. Where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is healing. There is breakthrough. He makes a way where there is no way. Receive from the Lord right now. Receive. If you're watching us on live stream, just receive right now from the Lord. Just receive whatever you are watching right now. The Spirit of God is touching those of you listening to this later on the podcast and YouTube. God's presence is moving there as well. It is touching your life. Just open yourself up to God. Come on, church. Welcome His presence. Get desperate for God. Get desperate for His touch. Come on. Come on. Jesus. For those of you who are watching us on live stream as well, the Spirit, the Spirit of God is moving there. Just receive your healing right now. Begin to move your body. Begin to begin to do things you couldn't do on your own because the Spirit of God is moving. The Spirit of God is touching in Jesus' mighty name. I had an ear infection uh -huh. and I couldn't really hear that well in my right ear. Okay. And during the whole prayer and process, my ear popped and I so, can hear out of my ear. So you couldn't hear from this ear and during prayer? I heard everything you heard everything good year. praise be to God come on somebody come on church let's give a round of applause Luciana what was happening to you well for the past two years I've had a lot of anxiety over my body and I feel like this past hour just straight worship and I felt the healing of it you, you know, felt just the warm sensation anxiety healing body. from the anxiety come on thank you Jesus come on church let's give a round of applause thank you Lord thank you Lord which which what was happening to you Every single time I try to worship, like, uh -huh. I'll feel something in my ear, so it just like it tries to like stop me from worshiping okay. stuff like that. Not only that, my my back, like every single time I try to go to sleep, my spine just be having problems. Okay. I just felt like you know the fire in my back and uh, you know that lightness right afterwards too. And I just started like bending over and I just feel no pain at all. Wow! It's come on, great. glory be to God. Come on, Grace. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Come on, let's just, a few, few more, few more testimonies. Few, I saw some people had their hands, a few more testimonies. Let's just come up. We want to give glory to God. That's all there is so that our faith can be established. So if you received the prayer during the prayer line and that uh, you felt that something is gone or you received healing, give God the glory. Amen. Don't hold nothing back from the Lord. Oh, what do you, what do you feel? You received my, prayer? Yes, my knee, uh -huh. left knee. And when you were praying earlier on, before even you got closer to me, you, you, said somebody has pain in the left knee, yes, yes. arthritis, and I had Ezra a month ago, and I was told, though I had surgery two years ago, the set has come back, arthritis on my left knee. So I've been asked to even see the doctor, but I refused to go. Mm. And you came out uh, by giving uh, a word of knowledge, uh -huh. no, word of knowledge mm -hmm. that someone has this. And you prayed for me, and now you didn't feel anything. Even when I was coming from Spokane, my Santa knee Boko. Was... Santo, Hallelujah! Thank you, Jesus. Come on, give glory to the Lord. Come on, Jesus. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! And so, what was what was happening? Um, I have pain in my shoulder. Okay. And my knee. And if you said somebody have pain in shoulder, I'm supposed to be go chiropractor last week but somehow he canceled for me. I'm not able to go. Oh, wow. And today, like you say, shoulder, and I feel, I feel like heat in my body from my head, and I just wow. feel, and I can't wow. lift up my arm. Jesus. 
I cannot lift like so much. And, and, and I said that it was at this shoulder. Yeah. Yeah, it was the right shoulder. This shoulder and my knee. And, the and right now I can lift them. Oh my goodness. Come on, somebody. <laughs> Jesus is the chiropractor. He never cancels on you. Amen. And he does it for free. Somebody say amen. Amen. So what happened? Two healings. Um, when Pastor Java was here, uh -huh. he said an angel, a uh, healing angel was taking me home, going home with me. Okay. And I was healed of Hashimoto's autoimmune disease. Okay. And, really? Yes. And so you don't have A that... week and a half before Christmas, yes. Really? And you don't have the, you don't, no you have the problem no. since? No. Oh my goodness. And then today he Wait, wait, let's me. come on. Let's give Jesus yeah. a round of applause Amen. first for that. Amen. Wow. Amen. And then today, um, I grew up in an alcoholic family, and I was healed emotionally. A really? lot of emotional healing happened. Really? Yes, Come I felt on. the Lord just pull, L lift pull that up. Out. Yes. Glory yeah. be to God. Glory be to God. Come on, church. You can do better than that. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for sharing. Amen. Amen. Amen.